I think the colors are really what draw people in because when they look to our booth and they're like, ooh, macarons. <laughs> A really cool part of it is when people buy like one or two and then they come back like 10 minutes later and get like five more. <laughs> the name of the business is Nina's Macarons and we make custom made French macarons. And that classic macaron is just round and pretty. So what differentiates us is we try to take it from that classic round shape and just make it into different fun shapes. I love a good challenge, so if if you give me like your party invitation and it has like pirates or you know something on it, I'm gonna try and make that into a macaron. I try to take those elements from your party invite or your color palette and make it into something unique. I would say the most challenging one I've done as of recently was SpongeBob. <laughs> I think the coolest part about it is when people say, I can't believe that that's a macaron. They're like, wait, that's a macaron? <laughs> So I wasn't always a baker, but I really liked watching baking videos, um, just like kind of to de-stress. I had my first macaron with my friend when we went to the mall, and after that I was obsessed. And I, I'm one of those people like, if I see something that's cool or taste something that's awesome, I wanna try to make it at home. So about five years ago is when I tried my first batch, and then I just kept trying to perfect it and just didn't give up. I think the best part about a macaron when you bite into it is you get a lot of textures at once. So the outside is crisp and then you bite down, it's pillowy and then chewy and then creamy because of the filling. So you get a lot of different components in one small cookie, which is pretty cool. Getting that perfect um, texture is, it's a challenge. When we go to markets, it's pretty cool to see like familiar faces, people who have tried our macarons before and then they are excited to try our new flavors. So every month we try to rotate 10 to 12 flavors. You just think of the classic looking macaron and then when you see like a fun shape or a SpongeBob or a sunflower or something like that, it, it, the reactions to them really make my day.